In this lecture, I will demonstrate the configuration and end user processes for quota arrangement usage. The procurement team wants to know how they can distribute the total required quantity of a material when there are multiple sources of supply. Okay, so what is quota arrangement? A quota arrangement distributes the total requirement of a material among these sources of supplies in a systematic manner if there are different sources of supply for that same material. If a quota arrangement exists for a material, it has the highest priority during the source determination. Using the source determination, the quantity can be limited at the plant level and that can be procured in a different period. The quota specifies the distribution of a particular material by using the following formula. Source determination through quota arrangement can also be simulated. SAP system searches for the valid source of supply when you manually create a purchase reposition with an automatic source determination in the following sequence. Quota arrangement, source list, outline agreement, or info record. It will keep searching until it finds a valid source of supply. Here is the menu path for its implementation. And here is the easy access menu path for its creation. Alternatively, you can use the transaction code MEQ1 to create the quota arrangement. I'm already on the display MG screen. First, we will take a look at the configuration for quota arrangement under the material management node, purchasing node. You will find a sub node, quota arrangement. Expand this node. You will see only one option to configure for the quota arrangement, which is the number range. Now, if you execute it, you can check if the number range intervals already exist or not. It does. And the current number range assignment status is this. Meaning the next quota arrangement when we create, it will be the number the following the next number. Okay. You can further review the, the overview. You will see it's the same number range that has been used. Now let's go to the SAP Easy Access screen. Go under the node logistics, material management, purchasing, master data, and you will find an option to maintain the quota arrangement. So before we maintain the quota arrangement, in our business scenario, you must have multiple sources of supply. Remember? So we have created a purchasing info record under one vendor only. So first we will we need to create the an info record for the same material and the plant. Let's do that. I will go to the transaction code ME11. We will create an info record for the second vendor, keeping the same material purchasing organization and plant. Now enter the second vendor which we have created. Press enter to continue. And you can see that the information has been copied. We will quickly go into the purchasing organization data one. First, enter the standard quantity as 100. And for the minimum quantity, I will set it as five cartons. The tax code will be one. The net price remains the same as 20 GBP per carton. So I'll update it as 20. Go to the conditions. You will see the price of the 20 GBP has been copied as well. So further, you can review other information in the purchasing info record. You have an option such as additional data where you can enter the validity dates, promotion details, and the terms of payments.
there is another option now click on this details here you can enter the condition amount lower and the upper limits and control the op options like calculation type quantity scale and scale type now these details are also available in the purchasing info record which i didn't cover in the previous lecture so if everything looks good hit save and the purchasing info record has been created with the supplier okay okay our next job is to create a source list so go to the change mode of this purchasing info record press enter then navigate to the top menu or go to under extras and click on source list here we are now choose the validity date select the current date to date is 31st december 2024 use the order unit carton hit save and the source list is created now we will create the quota arrangement that's it now we will go back and then create a quota arrangement go to the sap easy access screen go under the node logistics material management purchasing master data quota arrangement and double click on maintain and now choose the material plant press enter set the validity date to 31st december 2024 now here you need to enter the minimum quantity split and for the minimum quantity split i will enter as five press enter and then select it click on item button now you will be taken to the next session so first choose the procurement type Click the button list to see the options. We have external procurement and internal procurement. Since this is a raw materials, it's always external procurement. So we will choose the option F. The next is special procurement. We can leave it as blank. Next, we will choose the vendors. So our first vendor is 3001. And similarly, I will add the second vendor. Now you can enter the procurement plan and product version, else, you can leave them blank. The next is quota keys. So, here in the quota keys, we usually capture it as a numbers numbers like one two three okay for an example if we enter one and then we will enter one for the same supplier if i hit enter so if you could see here it shows 50 percent 50 percent okay it means the 50 50 percent so you can see the quota arrangement percentage will be the 50 percent for each so what if in case if i choose two so let me take a look here if you can see the quota will be 66.7 percentage and 33.3 percent okay so this is how the quota arrangement will be issued okay based on the percentage the quota arrangement will be maintained so always remember here it has to be like a numbers okay now as per our business scenario we will stick with one for both which means 50 50 percentage making it a 50 percent each okay that's it next we will set the quota based quantity i will set it as 300 for both
okay then the maximum quantity for the first vendor will be the thousand and for the second vendor will be the 500 so that's it so that's all the information we have to enter under the quota arrangement okay now if everything looks good hit save the quota arrangement has been maintained successfully now if you go back to the quota arrangement select it and click on items you can review the details and if you go to the top menu under extras and click simulation and then click quota arrangement now this will show you the source of supply according to the quota arrangement okay if you see here it is the first vendor secondly if you click the simulation and then click source of supply and enter the date press enter to continue now if you see here the system is showing you the effective source of supply as 3001 now this is because of according to the quota calculation okay now let us see what if, if we change the base quantity of the second supplier to 200 instead of 300 so let me simulate it again now you will notice that the system now picks the second vendor as the effective source of supply now you are wondering that how this is being calculated that the first when the quota base quantity was same then it brought the first vendor now when we have reduced the quota base quantity now it is picking up the second vendor i will show you the calculation on the slide again the quota specifies the distribution of a particular material by using the formula which I have mentioned earlier. For an example, for vendor the raw material, if the quota percentage is 50% with zero quota allotted quantity and a quota base quantity of 300, with the result is 150. Okay. Now the second for the vendor second. With a quota base quantity of 200 and the total is 100. The system assigns the source of supply to the vendor 2 as it has the lowest quota arrangement number. So, always remember the source of supply will be the one who will have the lowest quota arrangement. So, that's how the quota calculation usage is done. Hope you have understood the quota arrangement. Okay. So that's all for the quota arrangement. I will proceed with the next lecture. Thank you.